People love sandwich tricks. People love sandwich tricks. People love sandwich tricks. People love sandwich tricks. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a video on a sandwich trick. Now I know this has been done to death. I know I had a video about a similar sandwich trick about maybe two videos ago, but this is a variation on a marketed item that uh, requires no gaff. So for this, we're gonna need a deck. Now, of course, uh, some people were complaining that I have sold my soul for using a Monarch deck, but I'm using uh, the good old bicycle deck here, uh, the, the classic, the vintage. So for this, we're gonna need the um, the Jokers. Uh, what what obnoxious production can I do to get the Jokers out here? Um, I, I got one, I got one. I got a, a nice, um, what a, Let's see if I can do one of these, and then one of one of these, and then one of one of those. Maybe I I don't know. Um, I got I got one. I got one. I got I got one. I got one here. You could maybe do one of these, and then you go a, and then you get the the jokers. So we have the jokers here. We're gonna need uh, a couple cards picked. So we have two here. Uh, we have the um, three of hearts, seven of diamonds. Of course, I don't know this. So this uh, seven gets placed and lost somewhere in the middle of the deck um, to be lost by this, by you, of course. You know, the, this card gets placed in the middle of the deck and you can have whatever by play you want with the spectator. Oh, you know, um, your card is now lost forevermore into the deck. Now, I want you to notice that for this, I'm not going to do much of anything. I'm going to have my... Um, my my assistants here uh, do the do the most the, uh, the this joker and and this joker you have the uh, the white joker and you have the 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 color joker um, I put the co color joker on top because they earned that so uh, we're gonna need the jokers here but I want you to make sure that there's nothing between uh, this joker there's not like a, a special sort of a gimmick here there's not a gaff there's not a um, anything between that joker and this joker either there's really nothing nothing there at all it's just a, a joker so for this uh, we're actually not going to use the, the we're going to use the space between the jokers because if i just give it a little bit of a of a magic pass you see we get a card that appears there and that little gap and it just so happens to be the seven of diamonds yes that's that's magic for you guys so the uh, seven of diamonds so the next joker here we're actually going to we're gonna have this one on the bottom here and this one on top because these jokers are actually gonna go somewhere in the deck with a little magic pass here. You see, they, this joker goes uh, somewhere and then this joker goes somewhere. They, they actually go somewhere deep, deep inside of the deck where uh, they've trapped one card. Sir, what was your card? Of course, you point to the other spectator and you show up. Oh, oh, that's the seven that I already found. That's the, which means that this, what, what's this card? Oh, it's the three. Uh, didn't see didn't see that coming right uh, so at this point you then lay out the jokers like this and then you grab the spectators head and you you just smush it on the uh, the cards and you go ha feel that F feel the magic and then uh, that, everyone's happy that's a, a transposition so this is a version of a marketed trick called the uh, club sandwich I know this uh, similar plot has been done by other magicians John Gusta <coughs> Gusta um, uh, get, Gusta, get an easier name to pr pronounce, uh, Gusta Ferro, there you go. He has a version of this. This is just mine with this little uh, switch, um, this, that, that little sandwich switch that I'm sure someone is uh, credited for. Unfortunately, I don't know the name. Uh, put the comments on who you think made that up down down below and, and hit, the, hit the thing. So uh, you have two cards picked. You have the Jokers and you produce them however you want. So let's say these two cards. Now these cards are going to get uh, control to the top in whatever way you want. So you get this seven, you put in the middle, you square up the deck, you put your pinky in the middle, and then you cut that to the top, and they think that it's in the middle, but it's really on the top. Then you get the other queen, and you put it supposedly in the middle, but really it's going on top of the other card, and then you cut this to the top, and then you give the deck a false shuffle. Um... Okay, so that's the, uh, you just control these two cards at the top. Uh, that's that's pretty much what you do here. Now, I've explained this little sandwich load here in a, in a different video, in the pre previous sandwich trick, but uh, it's just, a, I prefer that to the old classic of uh, just showing the jokers and sneaking one card underneath like that. I, I prefer the way I do it here. Um, so what I do is that I, I point out the jokers, and as I'm doing that, I get a break uh, uh, below the top card. So I point out the jokers and I go, see, there's nothing between these, right? 
And as I uh, reiterate this and show this to the spectator, I square this up on top of the deck in preparation to lift this up as I move this joker and turn this over with that hand. So the motivation for me removing this joker is so I can uh, show this other joker here and uh, show that there's nothing between it. There's nothing uh, special about it. So you could do whatever you want here. I did a variation on the silky change by Justin Miller here, uh, which looks a little bit like that. Uh, to produce a joker um now that's of course his his color change i mean you just lift up here use your thumb to push off and then you rub it over here and it gives the uh, but he 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 explains it way better so look up his stuff justin miller that's a version of the silky change uh what you could do at this point now that you have it there is you just drop that joker on there give it a, a little bit of a, a snap here a magic move and then show that there's a card between the joker magically so uh, while this is uh, transpiring, the spectator is um, uh, coming with delight. Uh, you get a pinky break here below the top card in preparation for this little sandwich uh, switch move here. So you're going to pretty much lift up everything above the break after this reveal. So they go, oh my God, that's crazy. Score this up. Now you're going to lift up everything. So I'm holding up uh, four cards here. I peel this joker off. Now this is going to be a very discreptive move, but if it flies by uh like um like a, a bat out of hell so you you just turn your hand over and show this card which is the bottom card then what's going to happen now is you're going to turn your hand over thumb off that top card which is the other card but it gives the illusion that it's the seven and the other show, uh, joker comes to uh to show itself so what that switch does is that it allows for you to show one card and apparently cleanly leave it on a table and still be preparated uh, for another load here with the same card. So then that facilitates the transposition. You see the ingenuity here? So at this point, you could either do the same thing or what I like to do is I get this joker, put it on the bottom of the deck. Remember that's a double. And then I do a pass to get those two jokers in the middle, which apparently traps that card uh, between them. You could do that. You could just do a simple cut if you can't do a pass or and you could even do a turnover pass to show that the bottom joker is gone and then show the top joker. Now, just to briefly, briefly show what's going on here. Um, remember, this is on the bottom. So if you want to do a turnover pass, the exposed view looks a little bit like that. I'm sure I'll be dropping. A, you know what? I'll, I'll drop a more in-depth tutorial on my Twitter. Ch check out that Twitter. Look at that the, the plug. So uh, I'll be dropping more of that there. Or you could just do a regular pass. So the joker is on the bottom. You spread them through. Get a pinky break. Uh, somewhere in the middle of the deck and you do whatever pass you want. I'm doing a riffle pass in this case. The exposed view is there. That's the exposed view. So what that does is that it cleverly puts you in a situation where now the jokers have supposedly trapped one card randomly in the deck. So when you show this card, you can now show that it's the same card that you've caught previously and then turn this card over and everyone loses their mind because People love sandwich tricks. People love sandwich tricks. So that's the trick. Practice it well. That sandwich move, uh, that sandwich switch move is definitely one that could be used in, uh, in other routines um, if you could just be a little bit creative with it. Uh, you could use whatever, whatever sort of uh, reveal you want for those sandwich tricks, but just the basic plot here is a transposition. This is kind of like a uh, old soup. You could just add whatever ideas you want to it uh, in terms of revealing. And um, you have that kicker, that, that, that ki the kicker of the, uh, the transposition. So practice it, uh, do all the, all the things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all the Patreon exclusive videos open to uh, every tier. So even if you're at the bottom rung of the Patreon ladder, I'm going to just open that up and I'm going to add videos there weekly, exclusive videos. So if you're, if you're just a patron, it doesn't matter what uh, tier you are, you're still going to have access to those, uh, those uh, exclusive videos uh, that I put up there. So uh, look out for that on that, right, on the comment, the thing below there. So do, do check it out. Um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, figure out different ways to incorporate sandwich making into the love making pr process again, when i see you again 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 when i 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs>